Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kabootops and welcome to another Star Citizen video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a lot of armor for pretty cheap. So, there are only a, pre a couple prerequisites, so make sure to check out guys the four step process for how to do this mission. Make sure to watch the entire video, but if you guys want to skip around to parts that you already know, look at the timestamps in the description or the timeline down below. You guys can skip around as much as you want and find the things that suit you the most. Now, enjoy the video. Alrighty, folks. So the first couple things that we're going to have to do here is where the missions are located and how to get them. These missions that we're going to be doing to get armor are in Microtech. So make sure to fly to Port Tressler and set your spawn there just to, you know, get a little bit of a safe space set up for you guys. Now, the missions we're going to be doing are Apprehend Bounty HRTs, which pay 34k in the Mercenary tab or clear sight of contraband for 55k those missions for the clear sight of contraband will not only net you drugs but they're more riskier with turrets and you guys can get a uh, set of armor for those as well but we're going to be focusing on the 16k and the 34k hrts today so i'm going to accept that offer now if you guys would like to understand how to unlock these missions i have a guide down below in the description if you want to follow that as well but i can tell you exactly what to do you're going to click on the mercenary tab and you're going to go down to the copion missions it says wildlife control copion and all you're going to do is accept this and fly to ghost hollow tab hold tab around and try to find you know those little white markers and find those copions and knock them out about 30 minutes of grinding will guy will enable this for you guys now when doing those missions you get a little bit of money and save up about 50k guys so that 50k is going to be for a ship rental and for a couple of things for gear so you guys can do this mission now for the second part guys is going to be our gear and setup if you guys head over to the interstation transit over here on port tressler which is around the microtech planet you guys are going to head over to the cargo center what this is going to do is this is going to get our ship for the day and it is going to get a little bit of the loot that we need in order to do this now, you're going to walk forward and run to the cargo services, which is really easy, and you're going to look at the left. This is where you guys can find your rentals. The Drake Vulture and a couple other ships were supposed to be in here, but for some reason they're not. Now, what I'm going to show you guys is the Avenger Titan. Now, this has a couple SCU of storage space, so all you have to do is rent this ship for one day. You know, if you guys want to do it for more, feel free. It is 27k for one day, and if you guys want it for seven days it is going to actually be 480k. Oh no, sorry, that's the wrong ship. For seven days on the Avenger Titan, it is going to be 142k, which is really cheap. Now for the second part in this step process is the supplies. What you guys are going to be needing is, in order if you guys want the armor, is you guys are going to be needing a container. Now, this should be in the utility section. I would recommend buying the 2SU container, not the 1, but if you guys want to buy the 1 and want to save a little bit of money, you guys can feel free. I'm just going to grab one container because I don't need all the gear, but make sure to bring like 2 to 4 SCU just in case. Okay, next, what you're going to need is you're going to need in the personal weapon, weapons tool uh, area is the pyro multi-tool. Now, buy a couple of these if you guys want. If you guys buy bigger SCU containers, you guys are going to need this for like 8 and 16 SCUs and up and stuff like that but just grab the pyro multi-tool and the true hold tractor beam attachment this is the most important part to the guide guys because if you guys do not have these two pieces with the cargo container you guys are going to be out of luck when you actually go towards the mission now with the removal of local inventory it will screw you over so make sure like I said guys to have these containers okay what we're going to be looking at now is where we can actually get armor. Not just armor, but weapons. In these missions, it's kind of like a bunker, so you're going to be killing a lot of bad guys as well. Just go back to the cargo center elevator and go to the Galleria. Once you enter the Galleria here at Port Tressler, just take a little bit of a right right here, down the stairs, and then this is your shop. Now, when buying armor, you guys can buy light armor, heavy armor, anything like that. But I would say if you have the money, buy heavy. If not, buy light and just pray you don't get shot. What you guys are going to need, though, is a personal weapon. Now, my personal favorite is the P4AR because it shoots really fast, does a lot of damage, and gets the job done. Now, I bought a couple of those. I meant to only buy one and buy a bunch of mags, but I'm going to buy a couple mags here as well. <clears throat> excuse me and just like that super simple guys now 
I think in the miscellaneous tab, yes, we can buy some med pins. Grab a couple of these too, because they only cost about 100. You can buy 40 for 4k, like that's a really good deal. You're going to be putting only like four on you anyway. Um, and now we have to actually go find a cargo terminal thing. Um, I would recommend doing that in the hangar. So let me show you guys how to do that as well. Now, guys, we are in 3.24 patch. So what that means is you do not even have to go to your ASOP terminal. You just go straight to the elevators here, and it's going to take you guys to your personalized hangar. It's really cool how it has your own name and all these other things now. So when we get in there, you're going to request your vehicle, same as always, and you guys can also put on your gear. All you do is walk in, scroll down all the way to the bottom, and you guys can see that it has your hangar right there. Mine is a large hangar because I decided to land my C2 here. So if it doesn't work and it doesn't show up for you guys, just go to the ASOP terminal and call your ship in like normal. Uh, for some reason, the hangar is opening up right now, even though I don't have any ship coming up, which is really weird. You guys' uh, rentable ships should show up at the top, especially since it's an Avenger Titan. It has A in the name. Just request the delivery, back out, and then retrieve that puppy. Now, while it loads up, this is your perfect time to run to the left right here and access your storage so that you guys can actually put on the new gear. Hold right click and scroll to the side a little bit and sort to your weapons and such. Where are my weapons? Right here. <clears throat> now I don't have a weapon on me, so let me just equip this AR. Make sure you guys have your tractor beam that's gonna be in utility and make sure you have those attachments as well. Equip all, you guys have to drag your attachments onto your multi-tool. I already had one, that's why I didn't buy any. And right click equip all there and then right click on your magazines and equip all there as well now our little thing should be up here soon but as you guys can see it not only takes absolutely forever but is the most loud and obnoxious noise as well so i'll see you guys when the hangar or when the ship gets up here oh i almost fell off right there i think they need to make this a little faster and a little quieter because dang my ears are almost bleeding boys what I forgot to mention is head over back to the storage locker here, guys, and actually um, drop this item on the ground. This is your 2SU container. For some reason, I don't think it spawns in the other elevators and stuff. So you kind of have to do this and just pray it doesn't bug out. I mean, as you can see, it's pretty buggy. Maybe do one at a time or something. Um, I don't know whose idea was it was to keep this in the storage. I guess I could have probably put it directly into the things as well but it gets a little buggy with that and i will try to move these off and get this into my ship now that i've got these out of the location all you guys need to do is put these into your ship so i'm just going to scroll wheel as far as i can like that just drop it and then grab the other one now farming gear has never been harder in star Citizen, so just keep with me guys and this is still going to be your best way of getting gear if you don't have that kind of money to spend once your avenger titan is open just grab your container like so and store it on the left side of your ship um or right depends on which side you like i'm going to be grabbing both boxes because you know you never have too much space once everything's loaded up guys just make sure to close this door behind you you don't have to but you know for aesthetic purposes i like doing so and then we're going to be heading to the mission location so let's fly there right now if you guys are super, super new, just press U to turn on your ship and then press I to turn on your engines. Left Alt plus N opens your ship uh, hangar doors like that. And then you can press N to uh, raise your landing gear. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to press F2. And we're going to look on the map for where our mission location is. For some reason, it doesn't have the marker. It says we have to apprehend him and we have to locate him. So maybe with how the missions work now, you have to actually find it. Um, now, it does not say where we have to go, so it says it's the Sakura Sun, which is kind of crazy that we have to put this extra level of work into doing these missions, um, especially since they don't pay anything good at all, it's just that we're doing it for armor, so that is really sad. I'm messing up right now. It is the Sakura Sun Goldenrod Work Center is the one that I got right here, so make sure to to check there guys goldenrod right here and then we are going to jump to it there now let's fly out enable our quantum drive and get started on flying to the planet as we pull up to the location here guys make sure that you land on either the left or right side it doesn't really matter 
Um, one thing I will say is be very careful. Have your landing gear out a little early so you don't accidentally crash into anything. And now I'm going to land right here in the front. And I'm going to park it with the back showing here. That way, um, oops, sorry about that, boys. That way it's super easy for me to get my cargo out, actually. Another thing I will say is that we have to actually, like, locate the thing now. And I don't know if this was an intended game mechanic to where we have to actually go throughout the area to find where they are. But if that is, then that's pretty stupid. As you guys can see, some people even bring their own cars to drink, drive up here. And then they load the stuff into their car, which is another really good way of doing it as well. If you guys have the money for that, make sure to check those out too. Now, I will tell you guys, I will have some frame lag and some issues. And even though I have a pretty decent and beefy setup, um, you guys might encounter these issues as well. Now, I'm bringing the storage container through and invisible doors are happening, which, I mean, that's still better than invisible asteroids, right, boys? And I would say when going in, check the left or the right. They're probably in these bigger rooms, um, like through like that first big door. I see some people right here, so I'm going to just put the storage sent the storage thing right here and uh yeah start chopping because yeah these are definitely the bad guys yeah you can tell that they're bad guys because am i dead where am i boys i just walked into a vent a ventilation shaft i guess let me uh run back out of here i'm sorry about that now guys like i said excuse my pc for the lag um i have a pretty good rig but with streaming and I guess, you know, being in these areas, they are just still horribly optimized. So I'm sorry about that. Um, what I would recommend for you guys loading into this match and trying to like clear stuff out is running on the left side and going up the stairs first. There should be a couple enemies up here. Yeah, as you guys can see, they're right there. And we just knocked those guys out really easily. If you guys need your meds, press four and that should bring your med pin out. And now there's 10 hostiles remaining. So we've already killed five, which is really nice, guys. And I'm going to press. Oh, sorry about that. I was going to heal myself, but I guess it's just lagging a little bit. Sorry about that. There we go. Now I got the heal out and this FPS is atrocious. I'm sorry. You got 60 FPS. That was pretty good today. Hey, there you go. <laughs> little small victories, you know. Be careful, guys, because the AI is definitely a little bit better now as they used to be so when these micro stutters happen um i'm gonna start calling them macro stutters because they're so big um you guys can get really caught out so just be careful and and know when you're peeking a lot of people to just be careful like always reload you don't want to be on 12 bullets and then have to reload and a frame lag happens at the same moment you know what i mean like i have two bullets here so i'm gonna hide a little bit reload and then i'll go peek people Also, another thing is there is water all over my screen, and I guess that's just from Microtech being Microtech. But normally, you don't have to uh, clear off your screen um, while inside buildings, but if you need to, it's Alt-X. Okay, let's see where these couple other dudes are. Oh, they're right here. Ah! I only have 11 bullets. Gotta reload again. It reloaded. There we go. Killed this guy. We have two more enemies. One more enemy. So we don't have to reload. We could use this last 15. And usually what happens, guys, is they... Unlike the last, like, three or four enemies, they usually glow gold. Like, they have the uh, markers above them, and you can see them. But I think this guy's hiding a little bit. If they end up not spawning, then that's terrible, and you're out of luck. But he's probably just hiding around somewhere, making absolutely zero noise. So let's try to see. Ain't got to say sorry. Well, thank you, man. Uh, yeah, that's 78. I have the 5800X 3D and the 7800XT. But these missions, like, I can, like, basically only lag at Grim Hex in these is what it does for me. It's <clears throat> the worst. I'm close to the space station. Oh, that's good then, Just <laughs> No, you ran out of fuel, bro. Poor guy. Yeah, that's good. You don't have to travel too far then, bro. As you guys can see in the top right of the screen, the bounty target actually spawned. What that means is that means that everybody was killed. So I guess Crusader Security or I'm sorry, Microtech Security pulled up and found the guy. 
But right now, I guess it's bugged and there's no god marker above this guy's head. But he should be around here where I'm standing. Around that pocket to the right or over here in the back. So we have to look for him. And yeah, he's right here. So this guy is a bullet soaker. And just like that, we killed him and we finished the mission, boys. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, pull out my multi-tool. And we need to start dragging these bodies over to the the thing that I have. You know, the, um, what's it called? The, the big storage unit. You got the Corsair AW, bro. Hope you like that, Ballas. Congrats, bro. Congrats on that. What, I don't like pink either? Yeah, exactly. What you guys are going to need to do is you guys are going to grab his undersuit and just drag that off of his body like so. If that doesn't work, then start with his chest plate. Start, Then go to his helmet, his arms, his pants, and then his undersuit like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open the storage container here and you're going to drag these pieces individually in. So that's how you dra drag each piece of armor in, boys. And that's how you actually put the stuff in the storage container. Now, all you have to do is do that to every single body that you want. That includes their guns, everything like that. It is a bit of a time sink now, but that's all you have to do. Then afterwards, drag that back into your ship and you guys are looking good. I'm going to die to the security now because, you know what, why not? And I can do a little prison thing. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you guys liked this armor guide and liked the tutorial to check out the description of the video and see my other videos. And don't forget to put your IG in down below in the comment section. We do a 1 million AUC giveaway, so make sure to be subscribed and put that IG in there, guys. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the day. Adios.